Hi everyone, good afternoon. So this is the moment I've been waiting for and it actually came sooner than what I thought it would because I thought it would take longer than what I did. But I actually finished today guys. I'm like wow, I thought that it was going to take like the entire week. Especially considering the detail, right, the amount of detail that went into this project that I completed today. Finally, guys, I was like, wow, I just knew it was going to be Thursday on Thanksgiving that I was going to come to you guys and show you guys my masterpieces. But so I started working on these paintings actually Saturday. It was on Saturday, I think, evening when I started the drawing, y'all. And it was a whole, when I say it was a process. <laughs> It was a process, but I'm glad that I persisted because I started on Saturday with the first one and I got so upset because I was messing up. I was like, okay, I can't get it right. And I think the biggest part, the biggest, the hardest part for me at that time was trying to scale the image to fit the canvas boards that I'm using. I'm going to show you guys. So I got two 24 by 36 canvas boards and I wanted to make sure that the image was big I wanted to make sure that the facial features were um, clearly shown in the canvas so that I just wanted to highlight some of the features especially in the face right because I figured like okay the body is important but it's really not that important so what I ended up doing I did start the drawing, like I said, Saturday, but I ended up scrapping that whole drawing. Like, I didn't throw away the canvas board, but I did have to, like, erase the entire thing because it just didn't turn out right. I tried to include, like, the legs and the feet. I was just completely dissatisfied with my initial drawing, guys, and I'm going to show you guys. So, I started with this guy. And let me know if you can see. I might have to go back some more. And granted, I am using my... Um, orange light so i think the color may be off of what you guys actually see versus how it is in real life but this is the first one this is the first one that i did and overall i'm happy with the way it came out considering how much it took me like i went through some i went through a whole process you guys with the scaling of this image because it is a full body image like he has of course he has arms he has legs he has feet but i didn't get that because i just wanted to emphasize his facial features here so i did do a lot of um a freestyle in this in this portrait <laughs> where i kind of like put together some symbols all into one picture some of these symbols were in the original picture and some weren't the original picture that I was inspired by. Um, but like the Eye of Horus, which I'll talk about a little bit later, that wasn't in this picture, but I added that at the bottom. And like I said, overall, I'm really happy with the way it came out. This is my first time doing Egyptian art. <laughs> so I'm excited. My first... I showed you guys my first art pieces inspired by Africa were the Adinkra symbols, indigenous to West Africa, but this is my first time doing like Egyptian art of this magnitude. So I'm, I'm happy with the way it came out. Like I said, this guy gave, this guy put me through some work. And I'm like, what is it? Why is it that it's so difficult to draw something that seems so simple? But it really was. It was, it was, it was, it was a struggle. And painting it was even more difficult, I think, especially with the detail here of these symbols. I'm just like, oh my gosh. Making sure that, you know, I did the colors right and the lines. Like, I felt it was a lot. And you would think something like this wouldn't take that long. But this guy alone, you guys, like I said, I started the initial drawings this Saturday. Which I ended up just start, I scrapped, I started all over. <laughs> Sunday, I got up in the morning, Sunday, I started blank. So I had to erase all of the drawings that I did because it just wasn't scaled right. Um, I, I erased all the drawings, I started over. 
drew this guy out, and I was like, okay, finally it started coming together. Thank God, like, persistence is key. And I persisted, you guys, because I almost felt like, okay, well, maybe this isn't for me. Like, maybe drawing these Egyptian deities is just, is not my thing. Maybe I should try something different, but I persisted, and I'm like, okay. It started to come together, and I do like the touch that I added to it. What's up, Fred? Thank you. So I, I do like the touch that I added to it. And I know some of you guys who aren't really probably familiar with the um, like hieroglyphs or Egyptian art, it may seem a little bit weird. You're like, okay, wait, this seems weird. But I promise you guys, his shoulders were pretty broad. <laughs> and you guys know they most of the higher Egyptian hieroglyphs, when you look at the people in those hieroglyphs, they're mostly pictured from a side profile. So it may look a little bit distorted. Some of those distortions I did exaggerate, as you guys will see in this painting, and then the next one I'm going to show you guys, so especially with the eyes. I think I just, I just like drawing eyes, and I wanted to emphasize the eye. I think it's really unique. I love, like, pastel colors, so I chose to um, take my primary colors that came with my paint kit, my paint set that I purchased, and I created, like, these pastel-looking colors. This is showing up reverse, so you guys will see. I'm going to show you guys in a bit how the orientation actually looks when I flip the camera around and show you guys what these two paintings look like side by side. But there we have it. Do you guys know who this is? This is Osiris. And then at the bottom there is the eye of Horus. And so I'm going to show you guys the next one. And it's funny because when I finish these paintings, you guys, like even as I was painting them, I felt something mystical happen. I know I've said this before, but I think it's just a spiritual thing that happens when you kind of get in touch with your African roots and, you know, Anything related to Africa, you're gonna invoke, I think, some some spirits. <laughs> I definitely think that that's what happened. And so I felt that, like, as I was painting, and even when I completed, because y'all, okay. So that's the first one. The second one I did start and complete yesterday. But when I say I took the entire day, guys. Thank you. I will. I think I'll get better, but. More, the practice makes perfect, right? Like, the more you practice something. So, like, I started the second one. This this girl here. And I love her so much. I started her yesterday after I completed him. I completed him, I think. When did I complete him? It was probably in the evening. It was well into the evening when I completed him. And then I started her. And I like the way she came out. But I don't think it took me as long to do her as it did to do him. So this is Isis, the wife of Osiris. And it did take me a while, though. Both of them took hours. But I think it took a definitely a lot more hours to do Osiris than to do his wife. Because I think I just kind of got the hang of drawing. <laughs> Like, once you get in the groove of things, you kind of got your your um, hands warmed up. It gets natural. Speaking of hands, y'all, when I finished these paintings last night, because I finished, finally, I think it was 1-11. <laughs> I promise you guys, when I looked at the clock and I finally got done with all my paintings and I rinsed out my uh, paintbrushes and everything, I looked at the clock, it was 1-11. I'm like, wow, magical timing, you guys. So I was definitely tired in my when I say y'all, my hands were, I didn't feel, I didn't, like, as I was painting, I think I was just doing it so feverishly that I didn't think about, okay, me feeling tired or, oh, it's getting late. I was just so focused on getting it done. Like, I was, I was feeling, you know how you get in a groove or something, I'm pretty sure, like, musicians can relate. When you're making music and you be authors and you guys, when you're writing, you're writing a book, you're into the story, like you're feeling it, 
right the ink is flowing that's how i felt when i was doing these i just felt like i was i was into it so the time really didn't matter to me but when i laid my ass down in that bed i felt it in my hands i was like oh my gosh my hands i, I really have been working the, those paint brushes for a while i like the way she came out you guys can see so i did emphasize her lips <laughs> You guys, look at her lips. I wanted to exaggerate her lips, right? Because we all know, when you look at Egyptian art, right? If you guys pay close attention, the lips look a bit European. <laughs> European featured lips, right? And, and facial features. But I wanted to make her, of course, to be distinct from that. I wanted to really emphasize her negroid features so you guys can see i did exaggerate her lips a bit <laughs> i love her hair i like the colors that i chose for her um necklace her neck piece there and she's wearing three bra bracelets so she has like one in her wrist and then one on her arm and then one on her upper arm This is a cobra in her ear, and she's wearing a earring in the shape of a six, which represents carbon. Now, I know um, you guys saw the Eye of Horus, and a lot of Egyptian symbols, right? When you guys have seen them, mostly popularized in, like, um, pop music, you know, hip-hop, especially rap music, videos. Like, I think those associations they've made with uh, those Egyptian symbols or African symbols, and they kind of, like, mix it in with hip-hop music, trap music, with the um, symbology that they use in the videos. People have already made a negative association, right? So they interpret that these symbols mean something evil. Because clearly, what we see in the video is debauchery, right? It's exploitation of women and drugs and all things negative pertaining to the black community. And so, when you see, like, the symbols of the Eye of Horus or um, the triangle representing the pyramid, 180, completeness, it's like people associate that those symbols with, like, things that are evil, but really... It's not evil. And I believe, I'm a strong believer in the balance between good and evil anyway. So nothing is all bad, nothing is all good. There is a balance. But this is Isis. And so I'm gonna flip the camera around. I'm gonna tell I'm gonna talk to you guys a little bit about who these deities are in Egyptian history and culture. But I love it. I can't wait to hang them up, you guys. And I think I'm on a roll. So this isn't the end. This is just the beginning. I'm going to definitely make more of these paintings. A lot more. <laughs> this is just my second set. Like, I am on a roll. I'm going to flip the camera around. And set these up so you guys can see what they look like. Just like, yay! Like, why didn't I start painting before? Why am I just now doing this? Like, I'm 37 years old. Why am I just now taking on this hobby, guys? I like how these two go together, like, just perfectly. All right, I'm going to show you guys. Put the camera down. Just like, yay! <laughs> so, take a look. This is what they look like and the actual orientation, right? So you guys can get an idea. And it's actually, because I, I know I did two separate canvas boards, but this is pretty much one piece of art for me. And they are husband and wife. It's interesting, though, their backstory. So Isis... On the left, the female deity is the god of protection. She protects women and children. 
She's a fertility goddess. She just represents all things powerful as it relates to the female energy. Her husband, Osiris, interesting how he got the meaning of his name, right? And his function because he actually died and Isis, his wife, brought him back to life. She's also like the god over the sea and over travel. And so they said, like, this is according to um, history, right? They said that when he died, she went and found him, right? And she transformed into a bird where she was able to have very keen eyesight and see near and far. And she flew over the sea and she found his pieces of his body put them back together again he came to life and then he got um the name osiris which means god he became the god of the underworld or god of the afterlife and they gave birth to horus and it's like no surprise i put the eye of horus there and i wasn't even thinking about that when i did it i just kind of did it like intuitively when i put that eye in his chest Mainly really to fill out space, right? Because I feel like, okay, this is a lot of space down here. What can I add? But I think it would be really nice to do like the full scale. So you guys can see like the full figure body, their bodies. But really the only part is missing is their legs and of course their feet. And if you guys really pay attention to like Egyptian art, the legs are really slim. It's like the upper body is kind of big and broad, especially in the men. They have really, really broad shoulders, but then the body kind of narrows down, and then, you know, there's the legs and then their feet. And there's a side profile. So you guys can see she's touching him. They're looking at each other, so I'm going to hang this on my wall. I just love the way the colors just pop out. I decided to do her background half and half to reflect his background and his shirt in a way even though the blue I did for hers is a little bit darker than the blue on his shirt but they match I love it you guys can see I really exaggerated her eyes too and her lips I was like I have to <laughs> I'm definitely about to hang these up. Drop your comments below and let me know what you guys think about these. Feedback? <laughs> I mean, it's art. So there's no right or wrong way to do art, I think. It's pretty much up to the artist's perspective on how they want it to come out and to look. But yeah, after hours, I worked all day yesterday on these things. And I woke up this morning to finish the painting on her because I had not completed her painting. I had to finish her hair and the background. I did that this morning when I woke up. But they are done. Let's see what it looks like when they're done the light. Ooh. So this is the actual true color, well close to the true color of what their skin tone looks like. But when I use this orange light, this orange ring light, you see what it does? <laughs> they almost look like high orange, high yellow. <laughs> this is what they actually look like. I love it. All right. I'm going to catch you guys later. Drop your comments below. Share this video too.